Hi, welcome to Hacking Stuff. My name is Justin. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to fix a graphics issue on a 2011 MacBook Pro. A lot of people think that the GPU is the issue, but no, it's actually a capacitor that needs to be replaced. The capacitor you'll need is a tantalum capacitor that's 2.5 volts, 330 UF at 20%. A link will be in the description for the capacitor that you need to replace. All right, let's get started. For this repair, you're gonna need a heat gun, a soldering iron, a Phillips screwdriver, a T6 screwdriver, a spudger, solder, soldering paste, tin foil, and also the new chip. All right, so let's get started. Unscrew the top right screws. These ones are longer than the other ones. Next, unscrew the seven smaller screws. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery by pulling up on the connector. Remove these two screws to remove the keyboard bracket cover. Remove the screws that are holding in the fans. There's three for each fan. Remove the battery indicator cable by lifting up on it. Remove the keyboard connector. Lift up on the back part of the connector and then pull the connector towards you. Remove the trackpad connector. Remove the hard drive connector. Remove the left speaker connector. Remove the DVD drive connector. Remove the Wi-Fi cable connector. Remove the camera connector. Remove the left fan connector. Remove the right fan connector. Remove the left fan. Remove the right fan. Remove the display connector. Lift up on this bar and then pull the connector back towards the right. Remove the backlight keyboard connector. Lift up on the connector and then pull the cable away from you. Remove the seven screws holding the logic board in place. Lift the logic board up to a slight angle. Now pull the logic board out. Be careful and make sure to flip it around because the power connector is still connected. Disconnect the power connector.
Wrap logic board in foil to protect it from the heat. Place logic board on a metal surface. Heat up the capacitor with the heat gun. Use tweezers to remove the chip. Remove the foil. Use tweezers to scrape the logic board here. We are doing this because the new chip is a little bit longer and we need this extra space to solder the chip onto. Add flux to the two pads we will solder to. Add solder to the two pads. Next, use a heat gun to heat up the pads we will solder to, and then attach the chip with tweezers. Use tweezers to ensure that the chip is connected. Let the board cool. This should take 5 to 10 minutes. Reconnect the power connector to the logic board. Flip the logic board around and put it back in at an angle. Make sure to lift up on the connector cable so none get stuck underneath the logic board.
screw in the seven logic board screws. Put the right fan in. Reconnect the backlight connector. Put left fan in. Connect camera cable. Connect Wi-Fi cable. Connect DVD drive cable. Connect speaker cable. Connect hard drive cable. Connect trackpad cable. Connect keyboard cable. Connect battery indicator light cable. Connect screen cable. <clears throat> Screw in fan screws. Connect battery connector. Replace the keyboard bracket cover. Place bottom cover on. 
screw in the seven short screws. Screw in the three longer screws. And that's it. Thanks for watching.